For a country with a population of 1.2 billion, there are only 13 million cars in India. Some traditional forms of transport have been in use in India for centuries. Water taxis take thousands of passengers along the river Ganges every day. The wooden boats they use are handed from father to son and the boatmen repair them themselves. Ox carts have been traditionally used for transport, especially in rural India. In recent years, some cities have banned the movement of ox carts and other slow-moving vehicles on the main roads because of traffic problems. Bicycles are a common mode of travel in much of India. More people can now afford to own a bicycle than ever before. In 2005, more than 40% of Indian households owned a bicycle. But for long journeys, public transport is essential, and India's public transport systems are among the most heavily used in the world. Railways were first introduced to India in 1853. By 1947, there were 42 rail systems. In 1951, the systems were nationalized as one unit, becoming one of the largest networks in the world. With 65,000 kilometers of rail routes and 7,500 stations, the railway network in India is the fourth biggest in the world after Russia, China, and the USA. Indian trains carry over 30 million passengers and 2.8 million tons of freight daily. Indian railways are the world's biggest employer with over 1.4 million staff. Generally, Indian railways are very efficient, but trains do run late and sometimes it's hours rather than minutes. However, at the moment, they are a much better option than a traffic jam.